Hello YouTube and welcome to another Zen in the Art of Miniature Painting video. Uh, this video is going to be about the Dark Angels accessory sprue which you can order directly from GW or which you can get as part of the Company Veterans uh, box set. Um, the difference being that you get what you see before you here and some uh, weapons upgrades uh, for your squad if you get the box set rather than just the plain old sprues. I got the sprues because I wanted the bits to mix them in amongst my tactical squads and my terminators so um, you know, I, I didn't get all the combi weapons, but with hindsight, I think uh, it might be a good choice because you probably will want those combi weapons for your um, command squads and your, and your veteran squads. But anyway, that's not important now. Um, what I've got here is uh, the two sprues that you get. Um, it's both power armor and terminator marines uh, stuff on here, so you, you know you can really spruce up your entire army. Uh, and uh, let's let's just get it stuck in and have a look at what you do get. So, um, in the first, oh, hello, I'm loose again. Um, what you do get here is um, you can see you get six bodies, or five bodies, sorry. Um, the, the torsos and the legs are integral for the robed bodies, uh, and then you get the actual front plates as well. Um, and you get a whole bunch of shoulder pads and sensors and all that kind of nonsense that you're going to need to make you guys look really monastic. There's some Terminator pieces here, the little shoulder pauldron things, um, sort of deltoid area shields that you can attach to your Terminators. Um, I think they're a little bit redundant with the um, advent of the Deathwing box set, but um, I haven't actually seen that box in the flesh to know whether some of these bits will be useful. Uh, but I think if you were taking a plain vanilla terminator box set you could you could make them look more um death wingy by by adding these bits and pieces uh, and then you have you know your bits that go on top of backpacks and such and a, a nice uh, storm shield there and there's a combat shield there um the the shoulder pads are quite interesting um you just get nice and close there as you can see you get uh sort of ones with swords which i suppose are more for your veterans uh there's a, a selection of um terminator ones these are the slightly larger larger ones here these ones uh, which, um, which which are quite nice. Um, it's, I think it saves on having to get like the the forge world ones. Um, again, they'll be useful for upgrading a sort of a vanilla Terminator squad. Um, should I get one? Um, the this oh, loads of sensors because you know the these sensor bearers or uh, sensors are like a, a big thing. Or thuribles, I guess, are, are a huge thing in the um, in the Dark Angels, fitting with that monastic tradition. Um, if I flip the sprue over. You can have a look and just see that's what the combat shield looks like. Let's turn that around and bring it closer. That's the combat shield there. It's got an angel on the front, no surprise there. A uh, nice backpack there with a strapped on sword. And here are the sort of icons that go on backpacks, with the tops of terminators and such. And the broken sword is an image of the Deathwing, uh, very much. So, uh, yeah, really awesome. And this big, big angel here will go on top of a banner pole for the company command squad. Um, one thing about this arm is that it is left arm, uh, it is left arm, which means it's actually the same arm which your command squad champion has uh, his power sword in, which means you can't actually use the really awesome angled sword from that box. So it's a bit of a pity, and you have to use a slightly more static power weapon from this box set. But I'll see if I can't convert something, make it a little bit more dynamic. Um, as you can see, Terminator legs as well. Uh, not really going to need those, I imagine, but you know, just in case might lock the bottom off someone and just give them some new legs. Uh, really nice stuff. Uh, details excellent as always with GW. You just can't complain on that front and uh, you know it's got lots of little bits that you might need. Um, next up is the other sprue which tends to be more weapons focused. So you've got loads of like holstered bolt, bolt pistols there uh, which are quite nice and bits of webbing with little icons hanging off. Uh, excellent for just making a unit look more dark angel-y especially if you've got a standard tactical squad and you just want to kind of make them a little bit more monastic looking. These hooded um, heads or helmets are fantastic. Very, very dark angels. Um, part of the lore, you know, uh, these helmets here as well, you can just get them closer up and hopefully in a bit of better light. You can see the sort of, the beaky helmet's got the, the chapter insignia on the, on the tip um, and you've got this one with it on the forehead. So, you know, really nice. The power fist is, is, is uh, grand in terms of um, the sort of Dark Angel detail, storm bolter arm, a power maul, uh, an assault cannon, a power sword for your for your terminators, and then the slightly very well, slightly a very static looking right armed power sword, which I you know is obviously meant to go with the combat shield that I showed earlier, uh, but it just feels a bit sort of static compared to what you get in the command squad box. So we'll have to see if you can't do something about that. I'm not a big fan of the sort of shashimono style kind of banners on the backpacks 
uh, in general with space marines, especially with ultramarines, I think they look a bit silly. However, given that these are supposed to be sort of space knights, monk knights, warrior monks, um, I don't know, they seem to be slightly more fitting for when it comes to Dark Angels, so I might actually use some of these, uh, not necessarily for, um, you know, sergeants or anything like that. Um, I think I prefer to use like a sort of a crenellated shape or something for them, but I think if you're doing your sort of company veterans, that might be quite nice, or alternatively uh, the command squad, you know, to make them all sort of character looking, that's quite cool. Um, here you get uh, bolters, you know, with arms, the whole set, so you get five. Uh, these are nifty, obviously, because they're quite much like the Dark Vengeance set, you know, where where there's subtle hints at Dark Angels, uh, you know, the, the figures being Dark Angels. Here you get the same thing where you've got, you know, uh, little little sort of um, dangly bits hanging off the, of the of the little devotionals hanging off the the wrists and such, and the actual icons here are, are very strongly um, point towards the Dark Angels. Um, and then your backpacks, these are really superb, I think. If you're if you're doing anything Dark Angels, you really do need these backpacks. Again, very, very much like what you get in the Dark Vengeance box set, especially these slightly more normal ones. But like this with the reliqui, uh, reliquary, um, this, this one with the sword. That little short sword one would be really cool for a um, for a company chap um, a champion. The trophy one is really nice as well. Uh, and then you get these wings, which... Uh, appear to attach onto the side of a helmet so they make a sort of winged helm which is again very very dark angels you want you want wings you want that sort of almost native american kind of feathered look a lot of the time which you see a lot in the death wing like here um it's something that gw have been shying away from for a while with the dark angels they don't seem to emphasize it as much but if you look at some of the old pictures and the old fluffy kind of pictures that they used to do in second and third edition for the dark angels um the dark angels were not just the sort of warrior knights warrior monks they also had a very strong native american feel you know, I guess Forest forests of Caliban type thing is very sort of reminiscent of kind of Iroquois type people. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. Um, like I say, these these two sprues are quite nifty. Now I have another set like this, a, du a duplicate set, which means that I have enough bodies here to make up my command squad, which I mentioned in my command squad video, um, in, in, in robed bodies. Uh, additionally, you know, I want the robed bodies for my company veterans and, I, you know, all that sort of stuff. Um, I'm not too sure about how to load out the guys. Um, I'm not overly interested in making an unbeatable army. So I think what I'll just go for is an aesthetic appeal type thing. Uh, but the really good news, as with all GW stuff, is this this stuff really kit bash as well. You can, you can mix this with tactical squads. You can mix it with the command squad stuff. And it all just fits together. You can also mix it with forge world stuff. So at the end of the day, you know, there's absolutely no reason not to get this sort of thing. Uh, if you're in any doubt, all I can say is look at the detail on these figures. Look at the detail on that. Well, detail, detail on these bits. Um, they will really. You can you can buy secondhand stuff off eBay, uh, tactical marines or whatever, you know, and just replace a few arms, and you've taken a generic, you know, ultramarines unit or something, uh, or any chapter you want, and you've transformed them into dark angels, in, you know, in one fell swoop. And I think that's a really great thing because you know you can always get cheap tactical marines off uh, off eBay. Um, and if nothing else, you can actually build five marines out of this stuff that's before my, you know, before me anyway. So um, yeah, at the end of the day, uh, really good, you know, good little sprues. Uh, I'd be interested to see what the veteran box set actually contains. Um, I'll probably try and get hold of that soon, and then see what the uh, additional weapons are. Uh, that's all for now. I hope you found this uh, video useful um, and informative. Uh, if any comments, please leave them as always. If you do like this, please subscribe. Um, I always appreciate feedback. Uh, even if it is negative, just let me know uh, if there's anything you'd rather have. Um, and again, apologies for the whole camera setup at the moment. I don't really have a place to work as such, so I'm actually in my bedroom um, working on a bed with a very poorly lit area uh, to what I'm used to. So uh, hopefully, you know, once, once things get more settled here, I'll have a little dedicated hobby space that I can make my videos from. Uh, that's all for now. Uh, have a great day and um, see you soon.